Well, the movie everyone is talking about came out over the weekend, Batman vs. Superman. Jim Ferguson had the chance to talk to several of the stars, and we get to hear from two more of them today. I love watching this clip. Look at all the action. Oh, I know. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's opened very well at the box office, yeah. 170 million on the first day, so it, it's going to do well at the box office. But kind of like Star Wars, not getting great reviews, but making a lot of money. You know, and that's what Warner yeah. Brothers is <laughs> happy about. Anyhow, yeah. we talked to Jesse Eisenberg, who plays Lex Luthor, and he had big shoes to follow with Gene Hackman, who was the original, uh, at least uh, one of the famous ones. And Jesse is so good, and he he gets right to his character um, and talks about what it was like to develop Lex Luthor. And then um, we're going to come back with Lawrence Fishburne, who's the editor of the Daily Planet. So let's go to Jesse Eisenberg. Did you grow up a fan of these Batman, Superman comics and movies? No, I never had read the comics or seen the movies. My father loved Superman and he loved The Man of Steel, which is like the kind of movie that preceded this movie. Um, but uh, no, I never read them. And then when I read this script, I thought it was a phenomenal script, yeah. even though I didn't know about the characters. Because what, what I really liked about the movie was stuff that had nothing to do with the fact that it was Batman and Superman. What I loved about the script was that it talked about these really interesting <laughs> ideas of good and evil and evil, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it plays like almost a, would you agree, a Shakespearean tragedy? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, exa I think that's a perfectly put. It reminded me of like a Greek tragedy that I was in once uh, in acting school, you yeah. know, where you're, where the characters are kind of explicitly talking about their plight and talking about the themes in a, in a very um, kind of blunt and dramatic and theatrical way. Of course, I was remiss in not mentioning that you, of course, star as Lex Luthor. Yes. Uh, and um, I like what you did as far as what does a mad capitalist look like in the future? <laughs> or now. <laughs> or now, yeah. Yes. And I thought you, you just you grabbed it. You got it. Oh, yeah. thanks. Yeah, I mean, he's a kind of eccentric. He's somebody that runs this huge company. You don't exactly know what they do. They seem to be something in science, something in technology, he's trying to get kryptonite. You don't exactly know what they do or where their money is from, which seems like a kind of like evil, shady corporate entity. And then the character appears eccentric. He's like, calls himself a philanthropist, but you yeah. don't know that he actually does anything good. <laughs> you know, he dresses and he looks like an eccentric. And yet, um, and yet people seem to like him. And oh, you liked him as... Yeah, I did. Yeah, he's really good. He's one of the bright spots in the film uh, as the bad guy. Yeah. It's a bad guy you like. Now, another guy you're going to like is Lawrence Fishburne plays Perry White, who is the editor of the Daily Planet, the newspaper. He goes over the top. And with my interview, he's just really excited. And, and you'll see. Here's Lawrence Fishburne. Wow. Great actor. So you grew up a fan then? Yes, absolutely. So it had to be a kick for you to be uh, Just be to be story. asked yeah. to be in these yeah. movies is a kick for me, and I'm just stoked that I get to be in them, yeah. You play Perry White, mm. the editor. Yes, the, the editor-in-chief. Editor-in-chief of the Daily Planet. Kind of tight on his budget. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tight on everybody's budget. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Lois Lane. Yes. Who's always giving him trouble. Yeah, his problem child, his favorite child, his star reporter. But, you know, she gets it done. Did he, do you think he knew something was going on with his other reporter, Clark Kent? Uh, no, I don't think he's, I think he's got a blind spot when it comes to that guy. <laughs> to the kid from Kansas. Yeah, but he's not too pleased with the kid from Kansas. No, no, no. The he kid won't from cover Kansas. Football. He won't, you know, he just, he's, he's he, he wants to act like he's got a mind of his own and like somebody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, We've done this so many times, mm. and you've been on so many sets and so many wonderful uh, portrayals that you've done as an actor. Are you, I, I'm blown away and still amazed at what they're doing with these effects. It's great. They've come a long way, even since, you know, The Matrix. I mean, it's yeah. been almost 20 years now since we made that picture, and now the technology is, you know, advanced. Things are still difficult to do. There are still some practical things that you just, you know, you have to do. Uh, to achieve these right. effects, but at the same time, the technology has advanced to uh, to give filmmakers the ability to do really wonderful things, a lot of which you'll see in this movie. Well, I hope you like that. Yeah, he seems really nice. <laughs> he is a great guy. In 2014, a movie came out, a little low-budget film called God's Not Dead, and it was a big hit. Well, the sequel, God's Not Dead 2, opens on Friday. 
and we have the feature stars of the cast, Melissa Joan Hart and Jesse Metcliffe, along with Robin Givens, who plays a kind of a mean principal. But it's that whole thing, church versus state again, you know. And I'll have both all those interviews on this Friday. All right. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. Jim, always a pleasure to have you on, sir. Thanks for joining always us. Always a pleasure to see uh, both of you guys, and I'll see you at Batman. You better believe <laughs> it. Now, if you would like to watch Jim's celebrity interviews, you, you can just visit our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and search for Hollywood Happenings.